Hi friends, this is Anand Kavijay and welcome to my pre-market predictions for Nifty using Eliopic theory. So before we get into that analysis, this is my disclaimer. So let's move on to Nifty, SGX Nifty first and then Nifty afterwards one stock. So I expected it could be maybe one more low is also possible if anything it is in the irregular flat formation in the fourth wave like or here it previously it did and from here i expected so now it is already broken the previous anchor and it is making a higher high from here so what i'm expecting from here it's either it could be make the five-way structure for this one two three four five or this could be the intermediate and later onwards one more one second, I will uh, erase the previous analysis. So this is the end of the uh, zigzag uh, correction here or it could be a flat correction. So whatever it could be, one ABC is got completed here. And now this is the stop for the, our count. So from here, I'm looking for that, the impulsive wave, whether that could be the fifth wave starting. So in that case, this needs a five-way structure. So if it is doing like a, that little bit con, kind of consolidations like this and one more high is also possible. So like this kind of wave formation I'm expecting. So this is the intermediate wave for this as a five and this could be one, two, three, four, five. After that, we need a one more three wave structure for the two. So this could be become the, the head and shoulder pattern like that later onwards i'm expecting the bigger move to the upper side so this is the path for the nifty if it is in bullish and the fifth way is started so i'm expecting only this kind of wave formation from here so in the 15 minutes also we already uh, in the nifty on second we will finish and then we will go to the nifty otherwise if what we expecting it won't do like that so it could be like this means what kind of wave formation so this is the next major support zone here it's already uh, reached here and again bounced after that also it reached below and then again bounced so this zone is a uh, once again i will show you that this zone so this zone would be the consolidation zone so if it uh, not happened like this if it did like this also whether this could be the bigger one and bigger two like that kind of formation it can do Otherwise, if it is a A, B, C like that, if it is a W, X and then one more A, B, C as a Y like that, it can do. So anyway, I'm looking only for that impulsive wave or this uh, impulsive wave to the downside, the three-way structure could be the connecting wave and later onwards for the downside to break this. But in any way, what I'm looking for this zone, I'm looking to reach the 18,000. 250 to 300 zone in SGX Nifty. So here it could be a, a little bit a deeper correction to that 17,850 zone and then again it could bounce. So this wave formation we need to watch. Otherwise if it didn't came like this and if it is doing like this kind of formation means that is a sign for the bullish uh, swing I'm expecting. So tomorrow we can come to know what kind of uh, uh, it, whether this is going to uh, shoot uh, as a uh, bullish or bearish within the two days because only the two days is a market and uh, Thursday and uh, Friday is a holiday of for that uh, Diwali so one hour trading will be the Muharat trading so let's wait for that but before that uh, within the two days it could be a little bit conclusion can happen I think so so let's move on to the nifty so as per that same what we expected is a double bottom as of now and it didn't break and I already informed that also. So from here we have to watch how what kind of wave formation is doing like SGX Nifty. So whether it is going to be like a deeper correction as I said later onwards it can do like this kind of uh, wave. So then we come to that conclusion in two days. Otherwise if it is doing like this and if it reached here and it seems like the 5 way structure then we come to that uh, uh, okay this, this could be the start of that fifth wave or it could be the correction for the zigzag in the bigger correction also it can do like this also later onwards 
So this five-way structure, this is a three-way structure. After that, it can break the high and then this zigzag correction, it's a ABC, like this could be a zigzag ABC and it can break the high and it will trap all the retailers of the buy and it will trigger all the fresh buys. After that, it could be the three-way structure. So this whole thing become a running flat for the four or it could be the end of the fourth and this is the bullish swing also. So anyway, I'm looking only for uh, this as a bullish shine and this could be the invalidation zone for as of now and that uh, it suits the, uh, that uh, trend line channel is also the beautiful, uh, it's taking the support here. So let's wait for this to complete. So what is the next stock we are going to do is TVS motor and I have already updated that. So just in a, uh, a review for that. What I expected is I bought at 520. In this zone I bought and what I uh, thinking like this is an impulsive wave. Later on this is the B. So whether it can be one more down wave is also possible and it is not looking like an impulsive wave. So I exited at 600 zone itself from here itself. I bought at 520 and uh, exited at 600 for the shorter term period. Later onwards, I'm expecting this and it came down aggressively after that in the two days, it again showed to the high and it's already broken the high. So after this, if it is not valid now, because it's already broken the high. So what I previously, if you are following me, then you can come to know, I already predicted whether it is going to make a one more low, otherwise it can break the high. And this could be the A, B, C is a B and one more can happen. So in that kind of category, it, this could be a irregular flat formation. And once it retested again this zone, the 570 zone, I'm expecting it can be a bigger uh, uh, C wave or third wave, I'm expecting. So here I'm looking only for this as a positional view. I'm talking about that. So weekly positional view is the one five-way structure has got completed and one three-way structure has got completed here and we are in that exactly the previous support zone it took and that last March of 2020 the corona drop. After this is the second wave it seems because it can be again a three-way structure means from here also it can do like this. If I, if we think this is the third wave it can do like this also. So there is a possibility of doing like this. So now this is the bigger picture what I'm uh, trying to explain here in the weekly chart. So one candle is a weekly so it will took more time to reach there. So now I'm expecting if it is an irregular flat formation just did the 1272. I'm expecting it from this 700 zone or 690 zone to getting rejected. If it comes only like this I will be in buy side. So if it is the next option if it is going like this and it, if it breaks the high also, I would have been missed this one because this one is a little bit confused for me. This is a one impulsive wave and what I expected here, it's a little bit this kind of uh, formation I expected but it's already broken this low also. So this could be an irregular flat formation for that A, B and C. So this could be the A, B and beyond that C or this could be the W means this is not to make a W because it's a single impulsive wave. So either in the case if we took in the 4 heart chart also it is not seeing like here also it's not looking like a 3 way structure sorry the 5 way structure to make it this as a C in a smaller zone the smaller structure. So either I am looking only for the irregular flat because of this impulsive wave. So I am expecting if it reached only in the again the 550 zone if it is goes to the 700 also I am expecting that 20% drop then only I will be in buy side because I already booked the profit in the shorter term too. This is the guaranteed one trade so I did. After that, I am expecting this one because I am new to this TVS model. I am not picked this from the bottom. So I entered in the mid part of this uh, stock. So I eagerly to book the profit and it is. it also seems like it's a overlapping here. So I did like that. But even though I predicted it can go above the high and make the 1272 for this correction and I am expecting the irregular flat formation. So let's wait for this. But 
the target is it's going to reach that 800 and above that will show either if it is making that uh, one more high also that it has to be if it is an irregular flat also it can reach above the previous high of 800 so still uh, that 20 percent move is uh, up but from here i am not expecting to buy here because i already booked the profit if it is a trial the stop loss also i would have been a uh, little bit it, it can be a trial but i didn't done that i booked the profit and exited and let wait for this if it is anything i i will update so hope you enjoyed the, my analysis for that one stock and the pre market predictions so let's see tomorrow the same time for this and one one more stock for that investing so thanks a lot have a nice wonderful day to everybody bye